Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rowed for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. Monsieur Conner, a pleasure as always. What brings you? I wanted to ask you something. Why is this revolution so important to you? Hmm. Since I decided to embark upon this adventure, through all the lords and merchants and soldiers I've spoken to, you are the first to ask me this. Have you ever been to France? I have not. One day, when all of this is over, I will invite you to Paris to stay with me and my family. She is the most beautiful city in all the world, Connor. Full of art and culture, women and wine. But... She is sick on the inside, black and rotting. But here, here is something quite different. On the outside, the colonies are dirty and dangerous, unforgiving and uncivilized. But on the inside, they glow. And that is why I am here, to learn. I want to return home, able to touch France's black heart and make it glow once more. <laughs>